Parinama Vada Sanskrit, Parinamavada or the transformation theory is that which presupposes the cause to be continually transforming itself into its effects, and it has three variations, the Satkarya Vada of the Samkhyas, the Prakriti Parinama Vada of the Seva Siddhanta and the Brahma Parinama Vada of the Vishishtadvaita Vedanta school of thought. Overview In Indian philosophy, there are basically three major cosmological theories of origination one, Aramba Vada the theory of atomic agglomeration, based on the theory of Asatkarya Vada that the effect, which is something newly produced, does not exist in the cause, two, Parinama Vada the theory of real transformation, based on Satkarya Vada that the effect, though phenomenally different, is substantially identical with the cause, and pre-exists latently in it, and three, Vivartavada the theory of apparent transformation or of false appearance. There is also the fourth, Pratityasamutpada Vada, the theory of dependent origination of Buddhism. According to the Satkarya Vada of the Samkhya school of Vedanta, also accepted by the Vishishtadvaitavada Vedanta, causation is the manifestation of what is in the latent condition in the cause. The Prakriti Parnama Vada is based on the premise that the world is a transformation of the primordial nature or Prakriti. According to the Brahman Parinama Vada, the world is a transformation of Brahman. Parinama Vada is the term that refers to the monotheistic school's theory of actual transformation different from Vivartavada, the monistic school's theory of apparent transformation. It is the theory that the effect is a real transformation of the cause. According to the Brahman Parinama, this universe is a real transformation of Brahman. <laughs> Arambhavada The Arambhavada theory of causation is advocated by the Naya school, which is the creationistic view of causation and implies new creation as the effect that puts an end to its antecedent non-existence and marks a new beginning. According to this school the effect, being the counter-entity of its prior non-existence, must be held to be non-existent before its appearance as an effect although it arose out of a previously existent cause. This theory is the reverse of Parinamavada. Brahman as the cause The general Vedanta view is that Brahman is both, the material and the efficient, cause of the entire universe. There is nothing outside the omnipresent Brahman. Brahman is the only being which contains the elements of CIT and a CIT which are transformed into the forms of individual souls and material objects. There is no external world of souls and matter produced out of external material causes, and the very concept of pradana or primal matter, outside Brahman, involves contradiction. <laughs> Satkarya Vada According to this philosophy, which follows from Satkarya Vada, the cause first, potentially contains the effect in it as its Shakti power, in an unmanifest way, then through the instrumentality of the efficient cause, that potential, latent, unmanifest effect is made actual, patent and manifest. Creation is not a new beginning but the manifestation of the already present unmanifest. The world, as the effect arisen from the pure cause, cannot be impure and imperfect because Brahman, the pure essence, merely transforms itself and does not change, and therefore, remains the same always, whereas the effects are mere names, due to words, for knowing and identifying the effects, Prakriti is orderly. The urta order that makes Prakriti appear to be composed of subsystems arranged hierarchically with each subsystem being progressively inclusive, co-ordinating and interdependent is traditionally held to be the main basis of the doctrine of pre-existent effect or Satkarya Vada or the doctrine of real transformation or Parinama Vada, which R. A. Sanari states as the earliest and epistemologically the most valuable attempt made in Indian philosophy to set up a theory of causal order. All phenomena, belonging to the surface and or the deeper structure of prakriti, are parinama i.e. transformation, of one and the same substratum, the Svetasvatara Upanishad says, mayam tu prakritam no maya to be prakriti. But, both the Samkhya school and the Brahma Sutras base their understandings of the process of transformation for origination of things on the will of the Creator. Bhadarayana by stating Nasatatarstatvat, Brahma Sutra 2.2.26, declares that existence does not come out of non-existence. The entire creation is the result of Brahman's will Abhidhyopadisaka, Brahma Sutra 1.4.24, and that all transmigratory existence has no beginning Upapadyat Kapayulabhyate Ka, Brahma Sutra 2.1.36. Topic. 
Topic: Tantra view. Tantra has influenced the Hindu, the Buddhist and the Jain traditions. According to the Shridhya and the Saivite texts, the 36 tattvas covering the entire range of the unmanifest and manifest world, from the gross to the most subtle known as Shiva, pure illumination. Parinama Vada called Sakti Parinama Vada, along with the doctrine of Abhasavada or Pratibhambavada, explains the relationship between Samwit or Tripura and the world. Tripura refers to the totality of the three folds, Saintula, gross, Sukshma, subtle, and Para, transcendent, it represents. According to Abhasavada, Samwit is like a mirror and the universe is a reflection appearing on it. But the universe cannot be outside the mirror i.e. city or Samwit. According to Parinama Vada, city consciousness manifests in the form of the universe without losing its pristine nature. Vivardavada Gaudapada treats creation as an imaginary event even though it seems to follow a sequential order. Bhadarayana also states that creation for Brahman is a mere pastime out of his spontaneity without any extraneous motive. But, Gaudapada, who was aware of the concepts of the real and apparent transformations, develops the doctrine of creation as an illusory transformation of Brahman without recourse to Vivarta terminology. The followers of Advaita school promoted by Adi Sankara, to whom owing to Maya the world appears as if it is real i.e. distortion or false apprehension of the all-encompassing unity of Brahman, use this term Vivarta to support the principle of the immutability of reality. Vidyaranya reminds us Ekamavadvadiyam Sanamarupavivarhitam, that before the creation there existed the reality, one only, without a second, and without name and form Panchadasa 5.5, this after explaining in verse 2.59 that with Brahman as its basis, Maya creates the various objects of the world, just as a variety of pictures are drawn on a wall by the use of different colors, in other words, Maya makes it possible for the imagination to attribute different changes to the unchangeable, it is, therefore, said that Maya resembles a vidya the source of common illusions, and described as the principle of cosmic illusion, thus differing from prakriti of the samkhyas which is real in the full sense of the term. Criticism <coughs> 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 Both, Parnama Vada and Vivardavada, have their own critics. Madhava rejects Bhaskara on the ground that it is not possible for Brahman to transform at the loss of original nature, and there cannot exist unbridgeable gulf between CIT spirit and Jada matter. .239 A perfect being of pure intelligence and bliss cannot evolve out of itself an effect that is inert and wholly lacking in intelligence. Ramanuja accepts the material causality of Brahman which is absolutely without personal modification and which has the transforming prakriti as its body. Vivarta concept is rejected because Brahman is not the constituent cause of Maya, therefore Brahman cannot be the constituent cause of the world through Maya. References <laughs> <laughs>